Hi, Eric Sorensen, Sorensen's Guide to Power Boats. A little bit about planing hull design. This boat, very well known, very popular, great sea boat, got a lot of dead rise, a lot of V, very, uh, way forward in the bow. And it flattens out, you can see the chine coming down. As the chines come down, by knuckles are the chines, the dead rise automatically flattens out as you come back. So it gets flatter and flatter back here. Now, this is an object lesson really in uh, how a boat's gonna perform in heavy seas, say four to six is at 30 knots. The faster a boat goes, the more it rises bodily out of the water. And that means the waves are gonna impact, the mean wave impact is gonna shift from up here at 12 knots to up here at 16 knots to here at 20 knots and so on. The, further, the faster you go, the further aft the wave impact occurs predominantly. So another thing I want to point out, this boat doesn't have any strakes on it. Um, I'm a big believer in, in spray strakes properly positioned and properly proportioned in the right place and the right size. And we'll look at, a, at other examples of boats that do have strakes, but this one doesn't have it. Boats that don't have them tend to be wetter and they, tend to, they can tend to bow steer more because the strakes will break the water flow away from the hull, reducing the drag forward. And when you do that, you automatically have a better down sea boat. You also have, also have a drier boat, and you can get, even on a heavy boat like this, if you're going along fast enough with the right strakes in the right position, you can get a little bit more lift. Every action is an equal and opposite reaction as that flow breaks off the strakes as the boat's going through the water. And finally, you have something here called, this is the chine, but there's also a chine flat right here. And what the water does is it impinges off these chine flats, deflects outboard, makes the boat uh, drier, but it also, when the boat goes fast enough, especially in a smaller boat that's lighter, has less bottom loading than this boat, the chine flats make the boat more stable because you're concentrating pressure outboard in the hull and make it dynamically stable. I'm Eric Sorensen with Sorensen's Guide to Power Boats.